Hi, Dr. Oscar Aguilar, one more time. And I uh, would like to uh, actually go over a topic that I get asked frequently. I've been a cardiologist now for the last uh, 17 years. I train as an interventional cardiologist, which means that I have the capacity and the training to perform cardiac surgeries. In the case of interventional cardiology, we call them procedures, which means that I was able to go into the heart itself, open the arteries, put a stent, or other devices as may be needed to improve the function of the heart. So the question is, why now I hardly do any procedures, and actually for the last couple of years, I have not been to the cath lab where these procedures are done at all. And the reason is very uh, simple. There are multiple factors to the answer though. And basically what happens is this. In the cath lab, and I used to perform procedures on a daily basis, a lot of times at night, a lot of times during the weekends, trying to save the life of people. However, when we look at a heart attack and we look at a vessel in the heart that is being obstructed or clogged up, it's been years for that to happen. Prof, you know, sometimes we see that it takes about 20, 30, 40 years for that to happen. So having an athletic background and being involved with uh, nutrition and athletics when I was younger also gave me the perspective of what about nutrition? How much do a physician knows about nutrition? So here I am opening vessels pretty much every day, uh, but not doing much about nutrition to try to prevent those things from happening, which I believe prevention is the most important thing we can do for any disease in the human body. And the answer is this, nutrition is actually not taught at med school. So physicians in general do not know much about nutrition, which is the most important component of health. Hippocrates, more than 2,500 years ago, said that food should be our medicine, not the other way around. And that cannot be further from being the most important and the, and the truth. Therefore, I said, how can I learn nutrition? So I ended up doing a fellowship in metabolic medicine and nutrition, which finally gave me the ability to know nutrition and to know more about our metabolic diseases, which is what's actually killing our country. If you look at the six top causes of death in the United States, all of those had to do with, metaboli uh, with metabolism and with nutrition. Given that, then, and knowing now nutrition and metabolic diseases, I embarked in how to prevent problems, and there's never been a better time for me to get the most satisfaction of my work than doing what I'm doing. Not going to the cath lab allows me to give more time to my patients in clinic to really guide them through a proper nutrition, a true nutrition. At present time, there's a lot of confusion out there, perhaps given by the food industry, perhaps by lack of knowledge or ignorance. And when we look at nutrition, it's actually very simple to know what a true healthy nutrition is, and that's what we do at TIMC. Along with other components along the way, such as supplementation, exercise, our mind, and the way we sleep, and sometimes taking medication that may be needed, we put together a program to try to pr truly prevent heart problems from arising. Remember, knowing the most important symptoms and signs of a possible heart attack to go to the emergency room on time is important. However, if we are waiting for this to happen and we're not doing anything about it, then we are behind the game. To me, we need to start early. In studies, we've seen that young people, as young as 20 years of age, already have heart problems. Let's say that they died of a motor vehicle accident, they, they, go, they actually die at, at a war, 
and they come back to the United States from autopsy studies, we see that they already have plaques in the arteries of the heart, which is what eventually can cause a heart attack. 20-year-old kids, then it's very clear. We have to start early. More and more I hear that people want to be healthy, that people want to be living in a better way. At TIMC, we have simple programs to first assess your needs and then cover those needs and give you the tools, the guidance uh, to follow a plan that would help you stay healthy and mainly prevent heart attacks, which is now my most important mission uh, in my work.